My name is uh, Andy Thompson from uh, Can-Am RV Centre in London, Ontario, and this is a prototype of the new Citation. So when I was a kid in the 70s, everybody's basement was covered in uh, fake wood paneling, and for some reason RVs are still done that way off, more often than not. Uh, if you'd like something a little more modern, this is it. Uh, this is a, a new prototype of a new Citation travel trailer made in Hensel, Ontario. Nice modern interior, several color schemes for the interior available no fake wood grain among any of them. Uh, insides are actually fiberglass and laminate, there's, so there's an extremely durable interior. I can see this trailer still looking like new 25 years from now. The uh, um, space is very well utilized. This is a 26 foot trailer uh, and lots and lots of storage. Um, the other thing I like is it uses these catches that actually make a deadbolt when they close. So you'll never have a door come open or a drawer in one of these units. You leave the catches out when you're using it day to day. When you're going to hit the road, go around, push the buttons in, and everything is locked solid shut. The um, uh, lots of counter space, uh, a folding table, so you can have a lounge area here during the day or in the evening if you're visiting with friends. A uh, leaf can add in to make it a bigger eating area so that you can seat uh, four people around it if you'd like to. Next to the galley here, we have this can be either a huge pantry, but the shelves are removable, so it can be a more wardrobe space if you prefer, or a half wardrobe with some more storage below. Uh, same up above here, another big pantry cupboard that you can use. The um, in the bedroom is kind of cool. This one has twin beds in it, which are becoming uh, very popular again. In the, uh, at one time we sold about 80% of the trailers with twin beds, then you couldn't give them away, and now we're selling about 40% have uh, twin beds. Makes a much roomier bedroom as the advantage. This one has another big wardrobe between the beds back here, and all kinds of drawers built in, and a, a, a pet center back here as well. Uh, but even under the bed, normally to get at your storage under the bed, you have to stand on your head and grope for things. Here it's all in drawers, so you can organize that space easily and, and make good use of it. So if you notice these doors, they actually ladder up because the roof is sloped. That's going to be a, a really important feature when we get to the outside of this unit. So some people look at this trailer and say, hey, where's the dinette, where's the breakfast nook? In this size unit, there isn't room for a living area, good storage, and a breakfast nook. So this actually makes a very versatile living area with the sofa on one side, the table, and a nice comfortable chair to sit in. You're not sitting at a bench all the time. Um, and it does everything kind of well and makes the trailer feel much larger inside. So when you look at the out, when we get to the outside of this and you see it, you'll say, geez, there can't be much headroom inside, but I got lots of headroom. The roof actually slopes down a long way at the edges here, but I can still stand right over here next to the side wall and still have headroom in it. The reason we slope the roof is to get a way better towability. When people are talking about towing, they always talk about weight, like it's the only thing that matters that makes any difference. But weight really doesn't matter. What really makes a difference when you're towing most of those miles is aerodynamic drag. And so the most important feature in a trailer for towability isn't its weight, it's its shape. So the, the uh, Citation's design here it, with the peaked roof in the middle gives it a much more aerodynamic shape going through the air. The uh, other advantage, because the sidewall is not nearly as tall, that shorter sidewall means you don't get as much effect from crosswinds, trucks passing, and things like that. It's just not as much for the air to get a hold of. So the way they've hidden it in the inside is quite ingenious, but on the outside you get all those towing benefits of a more aerodynamic trailer. So uh, front and rear caps are molded fiberglass. The, it's got an actual windshield like a car would have set in in polyurethane like a car windshield is, so you're never going to get leaks from it at all, and very resistant to ever getting a uh, um, a break from stones because of the strength of it. The uh, beautiful fiberglass finish on here. This, these are Canadian made fiberglass caps. They're not coming out of the, uh, the big volume factories that are uh, normally making caps for people. Uh, side walls are so two inch thick uh, laminated side walls, lots of aluminum framing, um, Asdell behind the walls so you'll never get a D-lamb. 
And this is kind of interesting. This is a two-tone fiberglass wall. This is, looks like it's two colors, but they can actually seam the two colors of fiberglass together into one uh, sheet of fiberglass. So it uh, kind of gives it a nice design without acres of decals that are going to fade and give trouble over uh, after time. So this is a trailer that's been made to last a long time. It's not a 10-year uh, a trailer. Um, frame rails are seven inches deep. This thing is really solid. The other feature for towability that matters so much that nobody ever asks about is what kind of suspension is on the trailer. Typically a trailer is going to have leaf springs with a live axle and no shock absorbers. This has a trailing arm independent suspension. It lets the trailer sit lower, closer to the road, which improves, uh, lowers the center of gravity to improve handling, also reduces air drag to make it uh, tow easier. The um, other advantage of an independent suspension, it widens the stance out of the suspension. Instead of rolling on the frame rails that are 55 inches apart, you have an 80 inch track where the tires are to, for stability. And that combined again with that lower sidewall height, crosswinds, trucks passing on that, you just don't feel them with this. It makes a very, very stable package. On the other side of where all those drawers were inside is we have a, have a huge outside com storage compartment. Now, this is a prototype. The production units, this door is going to be 12 inches tall, so quite a bit taller compartment as well with bigger drawers on the inside. Uh, one other little change that the production units are going to have, this one has 14 inch wheels. The production ones are going to have 15 inch wheels. So the trailer will sit about an inch and a half taller, but uh, the, the bigger wheels are worth that. So this is the, uh, the prototype of the new Citation 30 foot. We were in the 25 foot uh, previously, so a little longer unit here. Interesting though, because the height and the profile stays the same, almost no difference in towing the two of them. A little more room to maneuver this one, but otherwise you'd be hard pressed behind the wheel to tell whether you're towing the smaller or the larger. So if you want the extra space inside, you can certainly have it. Um, one of the other color schemes on the outside, uh, this one is uh, the uh, blue trim. You can also get them in a red trim as well. Again, this one will benefit from the larger 15-inch wheels once they come out and the bigger storage compartments on the outside will be on the regular production as well. Another neat thing, the uh, production units are going to have uh, the uh, Zipti awning, same as an Airstream has, instead of the, uh, the vinyl power awning. Zipti awnings will last for 30 years, so it kind of goes with this trailer that you've got great longevity in all the components that are in it. The um, inside the extra length makes a big difference in space. We have the same living area as the smaller one, but we add the, the breakfast nook in the galley area. Other than that, the galley is the same, lots of counter space, lots of storage. So this has a dedicated pantry in the kitchen with uh, gives you lots of storage space. And the nice thing with the pantry, of course, that storage is up at eye level, a lot of it too. The, uh, and then this has a shelf in it right now, but it could also be a, a hanging wardrobe. It's probably what it's going to mainly get used for. Bathroom is the same size, just reversed. Uh, the reason sometimes you reverse a bathroom is just so things fit around the axles for holding tanks and things like that. This one, uh, instead of the twin beds, uh, we have the walk around queen bed with a um, lots of storage on each side of the bed. Again, on production units, the storage is going to be deeper. It's going to be a foot deep instead of the uh, nine inches it is right now. So it'll be that much more storage space. Nice premium mattresses on these as well. It's not, uh, not your run of the will mill RV mattress, a very high grade foam. This is the, uh, the one we were in first, had the gray color scheme. This is the blue, go with the outside. And then there's a, uh, a laminate wood grain as well that's in the uh, 27 foot. But all colors will be available in every size. So the, uh, the other thing that's nice with this, it's a really nice high quality window blind, uh, not the run on the mill RV blind, um, actual uh, heavy plastic uh, shade to it. And fabrics are all ultra leather. Again, very durable, easy to maintain. Again, as I was saying, the whole thing's been done to be a, a lasting investment for you. Probably the uh, proof will be in the pudding with these. Come in and take one for a test drive sometime. I'm, I'm sure you'll be impressed with it.